Just over a month remains in the 2015 regular season. Minnesota United has a favorable schedule as they push for a playoff spot, playing six of their final nine games at home. And it all starts tonight as United plays for the final time this regular season, the Carolina Railhawks. Here at tonight's Summit Brewing Company starting lineups, Minnesota United was planning on having to deal with one of the top scorers in the NASL, Nacho Novo, but he's on the bench. Jenning Kadich starts in his spot. Yeah, he's getting a rare start tonight. Um, He's 6'3", he's going to be good in the air, he's going to be dangerous in corner kicks and free kicks, but I can see Colin Clark looking to get a good hour at him before he unleashes Nacho Novo of Minnesota in the final 30 minutes. Five goals so far for Justin Davis this year, that makes him the top scoring defender in the NASL. Yeah, we've talked about Justin a lot lately and rightly so, he's been great, we know how good he is defensively, but with five goals so far and still nine games left in the season, any, any goals coming up, he's got, he's got to be the MVP for me for Minnesota this year so far. Now quickly in the counter go the Railhawks. Cipollani quickly up the right side. Cipollani picks his head up, has the strike. The top of the six, and Carolina gets on the board early. Just to give the ball away in the opposition's half. Great header in off the post here, and the Jacques was slow to react there, but you can't get a free header on the six yard box. Really, he's got to come out and take advantage of that and just plow through them to clear that ball out. Kadic, saved by Najak, rebound. Najak gets a piece of it. So we'll see what sort of impact he has on the game this play forward. He's already started to have an impact. Here's Yago on the turn. Yago from Minnesota. Cuts it to his right. Yago, Davis, Ibsen. That Whistler just misses into Jordan. Al Hassan. Ramirez. Poked away by Scott. Venegas! Al Hassan. Bisangini. Bisangini. Al Hassan. Saved by Fitzgerald. Great run by Alisson. They get behind the defense. Little dink ball into Ramirez. He just couldn't get enough power on that header. Just need to be a little hard across from Alisson. Now Ibsen. Yago. Davis pushing forward. Yago. Cipollani on the free kick for the Railhawks. They lead 1 0. Lavity from distance. Stopped by. Pitch call and angle. And Najak gets a piece of it. Cipollani now for Carolina. Out to Deleuze. Deleuze pushed aside by Najak. Al Hassan on the free kick. Bending in. And right on his line, Fitzgerald collects it. There's the whistle to end this first half of the National Sports in Carolina. Goes to the locker room with a one to nothing lead. Wagner, heavy touch. Venegas now on the counter. Venegas, Minnesota with numbers. Ramirez, off of Danso, and fortunately for him, Fitzgerald was standing right there. Lavity with a good sliding tackle. And away by Scott this time for the Railhawks. Good touch by Venegas. Venegas! Knuckler saved by Fitzgerald. Gotsmanoff! Gotsmanoff. Over to Ibsen on the left. Davis coming forward to help. Through ball. Davis! Through the middle. That they have to make to break this defense open. Good step by Venegas. Kevin Venegas from Minnesota looking for the equalizer. Through the six. Calvano, chip forward for Campos. Campos across, pass Mendez. Ibsen. Wide open is T. Cipollani. Cipollani for Carolina. Cuts it to his left, Cipollani goes down. Waved off by the referee. Yeah, this has been happening in the last few minutes where Minnesota has been getting stretched forward. You don't want Ty Shippelani coming through. And I'm surprised he didn't call a penalty kick there. They trail by one. Little flick. 
And it's an own goal by Carolina. It gives Minnesota life. Just a different look on the free kick. Gosmanov calling it into the near post with his left foot. So all you do is have to get a little flick on. Venegas gets a little flick there, and it causes all kinds of problems. And Minnesota get the tying goal out of it. Now a chance for Minnesota again. Vicencini. Ramirez! Mendez lets it run on to Venegas. Ramirez touches it back. Campos! This is the this is the movement Minnesota was needing the first half. A great ball in to Ramirez. It does well to get that ball. Up. Yeah, Campos making that run. It's a brilliant volley into the far corner to give Minnesota a two to one lead. That, that goal started all the way back from the defense where it was played out from the left side over to Venegas who plays a great ball in to Ramirez. And now he's got runners. He had two options here. He hit Pablo Campos with it and he hits a great volley with the outside of his right foot. And Fitzgerald's beaten to the far post. They've lost the, the impetus right now, Carolina. Campos went into the book for his celebration after that goal. Ramirez, Campos again! An assist goes to the graphics department again. Here's a touch for Mendez. Mendez. Venegas! Just over the bar. Ibsen. Takes it up the left side for Minnesota. He'll play the switch to Mendez. Mendez. In support, Venegas. Venegas. Into the penalty area, Venegas dribbling. Venegas! Being Minnesota's best player in the second half, just beautiful moves outside the box, very skillful for a right fullback. And he gets inside 10, 12 yards out. He's not going to miss from there with his right foot, but. Benicus has been Minnesota's best player here in the second half. He's created so many chances, got the behind the defense, just some beautiful moves there for a fullback. And rips it into the far corner to give Minnesota a three to one lead. Over the top for Novo who takes it down. And Najak exactly where he's supposed to be, makes the save. There's the whistle. Minnesota United gets a huge come from behind win and extends their scoring streak to 20 straight NASL games by defeating Carolina 3 to 1. The play of Kevin Venegas in the second half. They left him kind of out on an island on this near side here, but the quality of play, the individual effort that led to the goal. Your thoughts on Kevin? No, he had his moments prior. A little frustrated with him, to be honest with you, with the delivery, but suddenly he found his feet. Got a couple of good serves in, of course, the smash and finish. So, uh, the pace that he's got, who knows how far he'll go. He's certainly got the potential to go up to the top level of the game. Just got to work on his delivery. How dynamic can this team be when you have guys like Justin Davis and Venegas coming out of the back and providing such support from an attacking point of view? You just saw it. That's how.